Welcome back to our early days on Potpourri. Now we're doing Redwood's August 2020 little montage of the stuff that she got up to. Uh, we previously saw Math's August compilation. Building our incline for our surfing area. Please go ahead and click that like and subscribe. You can click the notification bell to be notified when we post new videos. We've been posting quite a lot of little compilations because we're still catching up to our modern time. So we got some... We went to visit somebody and then somebody else came in as well when we were visiting them and they thought that we were the person, the owner of that island, which was pretty funny. So, got our first surfboard, which is pretty exciting. Yeah, we had been crafting a lot and digging a lot, so we had a lot of tools break on that day. Catching some more bugs for our Critterpedia. There's Boots just chilling by the river. Visiting some more friends. Seeing Eric. Bam. Bam is, at that point, Bam was one of our dreamies, so we were excited to go and visit him too. Seeing some of our sea creatures that we had caught in March and, uh, and April of 2020 when we went uh, back in time. Some of the artwork that we got. This is one of our favorites. We love this one a lot. And then we're talking to our Mary Kitty. Rays became available. So what we were doing in the early days is taking a snapshot every time it was the first time we caught something. So all these snapshots of the creatures are the first time that we caught that creature. So we thought the rays were so cool. We even had, later on we had a model made but it's not as big as the ray is here that you see. It takes up our whole head and most of our body. But the model is really kind of small and kind of underwhelming. Catching some more bugs. Taking in a KK concert. Oh, we got our tambourine for the first time. So we want to play that bad boy. I just love it because of the glee on our villager's face. Our little player is so happy to be striking that tambourine. <laughs> Yay! Playing along to KK. I don't think anyone else appreciates it though. <laughs> a selfie. Let me take a selfie. <laughs> We were mad, I think, because we tranced through our orange uh, windflower there. Donating some more stuff for the museum. Yes, the locusts. Never let a locust hang out with its friends, yeah. I love this butterfly room. It's so pretty. Requesting a song. We went to our KK Gumbo for our Cajun area, our little bayou area. Nolene's. And then just staying for some more songs. We got a flatworm. The flatworms look so cool. That's disgusting. I think all worms can regrow themselves if they're injured or cut in half or otherwise damaged. Getting a call from Tom Nook telling us about a new app. So this enables us to, if we have multiple players on our island like we do, um, we can both get in at the same time 
using the Joy-Cons to play at the same time. Fireworks show every Sunday in August. So that's going to be really cool to see. Hello, hello. 7 p.m. sharp, and it does too. We hadn't really done any custom designs this early in the game because we were just a month in. Um, we had done some custom designs for our fruit trees, like to put on the ground in front of each tree, like the peaches and the cherries and oranges and stuff like that, but we weren't going to make those as fireworks. So, just a really pretty site with the Red's Wagon and stuff there. Our little Amsterdam tulip area back in the day. And that was outside Celia's house since she's our Alpine Eagle in her little Lederhose, not Lederhose, in the uh, Alpine dress. A new resident made mass, yeah. Now I believe this was August 1st or August 2nd. Yeah, it was August 2nd, because we had just created maths like at midnight on August 1st. Because maths's first day was the fireworks. So this is our very first fireworks show. So it was the day after this, I believe, that we went back in time to March and April to get some of the March and April bugs and fish and stuff on our own. Because previously we had visited other friends who had time traveled because at that point up till then we were too scared to time travel ourselves because we were so scared of messing up our island. Doing Red's raffle, getting some raffle prizes. We got lots of balloons and fireworks and sparklers and stuff. Yeah, we got the fountain firework. Since this was our first time, we wanted to keep going with the raffle until we got at least one of every type of item. So we just kept going, <laughs> spending all our bells. Is that a nine? No, it's a six. Pinwheel. We love the pinwheel too. Red sparkler. So there's red and blue sparklers, there's like four or five different color balloons, there was fountain fireworks, there was the pinwheel, there was bubbles, we got a little heart bopper from uh, Isabel. There's Tammy screaming about the fireworks. Yay! Clap, 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 clap. These little heart boppers are so cute. You can also check out the fireworks from MAF's perspective on the, the MAF's compilation video. It's the August 2020 for MAF's. And I think we've even got some video of him watching some of the fireworks, which is really cool. Playing with our sparkler. We wanted to do that by the river in case of any kind of 
emergency or anything. It's crazy looking back on this from two years ago, seeing how little we had built on our island as compared to now. So we're catching up and pretty soon we'll see all of our videos from right now, from 2022, and all the development we've made since this time in 2020. Yeah, hey, I love those uh, those ones that kind of linger on like like a weeping willow tree or something playing with our pinwheel Just so neat, all the design that they did on these fireworks is just awesome. I love those kind too. The little dusty ones that end in dust. And there's the willow ones again. Love those. I like the glimmery ones too, that little sparkly. Awesome. Simply awesome. Even without custom designs, the fireworks show is really neat. And the music that they play during the fireworks show is really cool too. It's really catchy, not too imposing but just earwormy enough that you have it in your head for a little while after too. There's Tammy playing with a sparkler. I think we need to get more raffle presents from Red. Red and blue. Playing with our fountain firework. We didn't want to stand too close to it. <laughs> I love how it changes color. And then we are responsible fire safety, so we disposed of it properly. We didn't know at that time that you could sell those used fountain fireworks and get like, I think it's like 20 bells for it or something like that. Seeing them launch is really cool too, as they're going up. <laughs> Playing with the pinwheel. Here you can hear the music that plays too. I love that pinwheel. I love how we take a deep breath before we blow into it. Like, <gasps> I'll huff and I'll puff. Multiple ones going off all at once. We went to get boots because he was sitting in his house. We're like, come out and enjoy the fireworks, man. Twenty minutes in. And every Sunday in August, of course, the fireworks start at seven and they do go all the way till midnight. So there's like five hours of fireworks. I don't know how we have the budget for that, whether it's coming out of our player's uh, bell account. <laughs> Probably all the, the home renovations that we pay for. 
place for all these fireworks. <laughs> Twenty plus hours per year of fireworks, depending on how many Sundays in August per year. Like I'm sure some Augusts have five Sundays, whereas some years have four Sundays in August. Depending on how the calendar falls. and all the best viewpoints all over the island. So, so far the bridge behind resident services is one of the best places to watch them, but we also love this rock over here on our northeast beach. This is actually just the eastern, it's not the northeastern. Getting some more various prizes from Red's Raffle. Oh, the Uchiwa fan, that was the other one. Yeah, we got the tweeter, the bubbles, the pinwheel, all the different balloons, two different kinds of sparklers, the fountain firework. That's all he had at that point. He didn't have any of the bubble teas or any of that stuff that he has these days, like the ice cream cones and the magazines and all that kind of stuff. He had just had a pretty basic layout back then. Everybody's got their sparklers! We got our Uchi in. <laughs> it is hot. August. August summer heat. Step right up to Red's Raffle! Blue sparkler, fountain firework, another fountain firework. And we're starting to get doubles now, but we hadn't gotten one of everything, so that's why we were continuing to pull pull numbers from the raffle. Another blue sparkler. I think we still had to get a couple of colors of balloons, because there's blue, yellow, red, pink, green. So there's five different colors of balloons. Blown bubbles! Yay! Bubbles! So much fun. It's such a good activity that they programmed in. There's so much to do. <laughs> Here's video of the bubbles. Again with the big breaths before we blow into the bubbles. Yay! You see our little Stromboli puppet show thing there. We've since moved back that back up more north to the what we call Pinocchio Hill. In our current um, layout of our island. But back then, we knew we wanted to do a bunch of different, like, little pockets on our island of specific themes. That's why we named our island Potpourri, because it's a, a hodgepodge of all kinds of different themes that we really love. But we didn't quite yet know the layout of where we wanted all these little themes placed. So we were still kind of playing around with placement and layout and stuff like that. So... It was a lot of trial and error, like, let's put this here and see how we like it for a few days, and then if we don't like it, we'll move it someplace else and try that for a few days and see how that looks, and running, or getting around the island, too, like, we didn't want too many of our walkways impeded. Um, of course, nowadays, we've thrown that concept out the window, too, especially with seeing a bunch of other 
streamers and the way they do their islands, they fill up every single nook and cranny, and it's almost impossible to get around a lot of the islands. But they are very well designed and very pretty and very nice to look at. It's just the navigation of trying to get around. It's like, oh my god, that's a nightmare. <laughs> very cluttered. Cluttered, but well designed, I will say. They are well designed, but I didn't want my island to be that chock full. I, mean, I wanted to be able to have some breathing space. <laughs> which is why I created a bunch of decorated but open areas like this here. There's still lots of space around to be able to run around. And to this day, we still want that kind of ability to move around and have a lot of open space, but still have a well-designed well area that's got lots of stuff, but not cluttered. We miss our Celia, our Mama Eagle. <laughs> Winnie. We never got Winnie's photo either. We did get Celia's photo. I've said in some of the other videos too that back then we didn't know anything about getting villager photos so we weren't giving them gifts and all that kind of stuff. Um, we just happened by accident to one day Celia gave us her photo and we're like, oh, hey, that's cool. Um, but even at that point, we didn't know that we could actually try to get villager photos. So a lot of our villagers had come and gone before we realized, oh, we want to start collecting these photos of these villagers that we've had. So we never got Teddy's photo. We never got Winnie's photo. We never got Diana's photo. Um, we got Boots's, we got Tammy's, we got Mary's, we got Bam's, he's on our island now. Um, we never got Doc's photo or O'Hare's photo, but um, in some of our upcoming videos that we're going to be posting soon with our second island, um, Sleuth on Clue happened to get Doc at one point, so she got, our, she got Doc's picture and then gave it to Redwit, and she also got O'Hare. And so she gave that photo to Redwood as well. So any of the villagers that Sleuth is getting on the island of Clue that used to be on Potpourri, or that Potpourri had at one point, it's a different iteration of that villager. Like, they're not going to remember Potpourri. But if, she, if Sleuth is getting those pictures, she's giving them to, to Redwood for the Potpourri collection, since Potpourri had them first. <laughs> And coming up soon, Maths is going to be getting his own island too, and he's going to try to get Winnie, because he's going to have like a, a little area that's a horse ranch. So we want to get as many horses as we like. So we want to get Elmer and Winnie. Um, we might get Roscoe too, but he's definitely going to want to get Winnie's photo, and maybe a spare, so he can give one to Potpourri and have one for himself. I love that. <laughs> Yay! Yay, fireworks! <laughs> I love this little pinwheel, too. It's just too cute. Loud cars going by, motorcycles and stuff. I hope that didn't pick up on the audio, but... If it did, I apologize. Getting another pinwheel. I think we still had one or two colors of balloons that we hadn't achieved yet. So, it's kind of frustrating that you don't get one of everything before you start getting doubles. I guess that's Nintendo's way of keeping you playing and spending more rails and stuff. I just love the delight on our, our players' face as they play with the sparklers and the pinwheels and the bubbles and stuff. 
more fireworks. The plaza seems to be the place to be, even though the resident services building is obscuring a lot of the fireworks, but all the villagers are clustered around there, so it's fun to see all the excitement and just get the whole overall vibe, you know, of the fireworks show. Our little phone booth, which our default color for our island was brown and at that point back in 2020 we didn't get the ability to customize them so the only way you could get a different color of a base item of your island was to find a friend that had the color that you wanted and give them money to to buy it for you and give it to you so we didn't have any of our friends that had the red phone booth so we just put it out here as the brown phone booth of course nowadays with the 2.0 update from November 2021 you can go to Harv's Island and have Cyrus customize the base items like the lighthouse and the phone booth and the teacups and all that kind of stuff for you to make it the color you want so that enables people that don't have friends with the color that they want to be able to get the color that they want But we never did change the color of our phone booth. We still have it kept as brown because Sleuth on Clue has a has a big uh, Sherlock Holmes, Baker Street, London area of her island. So she's got the red phone booth on hers that she customized. There's our money tree. I can't believe we haven't done our daily chores yet and we're having fun with fireworks. Shame on you, Redwit. That's ten demerits. You should be doing your work first and then play. Here's our lighthouse. Which, when we first got it, we didn't want yellow, and we were going to try to find uh, a friend that had a color that we wanted, um, like maybe the blue and white striped, or I think there's like a red one as well. I can't remember. Um, but then we never got around to doing that and we just ended up keeping it as yellow. So we, to this day, we still have the yellow lighthouse. Getting some reactions from Celia, catching some more rays. Sending some mail to maths. We made this uh, stone archway here in front of our Samara well doing some shopping at the original Nook's Cranny. This is before we had it upgraded. Can't remember why she was mad here. I think we were trying to chase something that took us all around the freaking sea. <laughs> One of those hard to catch uh, creatures. This was before we knew the strategy of basically pinning them, like swimming up close without actually hitting the A button to swim, like just moving your directional arrow and then getting close enough that you can just dive and catch them. Because those fast sea creatures will take you on a spin all the way around as you're trying to chase them and catch them. It's really difficult with some of them. Like the spider crab is really hard. Um, sometimes the vampire squid is really hard to catch. The Gigas giant clam is very hard to catch. And then of course like the king crab and the snow crab are pretty fast as well. You have to swim around for a while getting those. But the worst of all of them is the giant isopod. That one even with my pinning strategy is still sometimes very hard to catch because he darts like you think you got him pinned, but then he darts the other direction, and then it's like ugh, the chase is all starts starts all over again. Celeste is on our island, yay! Here's our incline built. We added some of the pinwheels since we got so many pinwheels from Red. We added them on either side of the uh, incline there. D Teddy and his shouting all the time. Diana dancing to some music. Catching the golden stag. We love all the stag beetles that you catch in the summertime. That's why summer is our favorite season for catching bugs. We shown on some shooting stars. I hope we got that blue summer shell to our left because those are rare. Getting a reaction from Tammy. Nope, nah, -uh, nothing doing. 
disagreement. Nope. <laughs> Yay, I learned how to disagree. <laughs> nope. Oh, no, no, no. Boots had fleas. I didn't even know alligators could get fleas. But, <laughs> gross. Uh, swapping mass tables because we had the big table, but it was too big for our house. And he had the recipe for the little table, which Redwick didn't have. So he made the little table, and then they just swapped tables. Getting some more reactions from Celia. How are you? Blinky. Warm enough for you? <laughs> no, we hate warm weather because we get too much of it here <laughs> in real life. It's just too dang hot. We just have two seasons here, hot and hotter. Can get up to like 120 degrees in the summertime. Here's the big boy tail. <laughs> we were joking around. Getting some stuff from Kix. I love his newsy outfit that he wears. That little paperboy cap and the suspenders and stuff. Oh, we didn't realize she had fleas before we went up and talked to her, so then we caught her fleas. She probably got them from Boots. We loved the tiger butterflies at this point in the game. Common blue bottle. There's kicks. It caught our eye that what he flipped the coin right then. And nobody ever asked the pineapple if it wants to be on the pizza, man. <laughs> Too true. I don't mind pineapple on pizza, I would just never choose it. But if there somebody had a pizza that had pineapple on it, I would eat it. Not my favorite though. I just love pepperoni and mushroom. Playing with sparklers, even though it's not a fireworks day. Getting the shell rug recipe. Guess what Maths has been up to? He buried bells. Yeah, he buried his money tree, Celia. <laughs> All right, the Nook's Cranny is upgrading. So this is when we came back to August after time traveling back to March and April. Sorry, I thrashed you, Lily. Getting some cute summer clothes. So the reason we came back to August from April was for Boots' birthday specifically. So we just went back to March and April for like a day or two, and then we came back to August. And then I think a couple of days after that, we went back to March and April, and then just stayed in March and April and moved our way forward. So. So in, in real life at that point, it was August 2020, but we were back in April 2020. And as we were moving forward in real life through September and up to October, as we were approaching October, we realized that you'd be able to buy candy, one piece of candy a day during October and get ready for Halloween stuff. So then we just started speeding back up to current time because we didn't want to just jump straight back up to modern time we wanted to still experience some stuff through like some of the events like through August and September um, so we would basically just be rushing through just daily tasks of burying our money tree logging into our ABD plus we wanted those ABD miles because um, we didn't want to start back over at day one with only 50 miles we wanted the 300 and nook points per day nook miles so we were just progressing through one day at a time, just speeding through to get back up to current time. So we kind of skipped the whole rest of August and then much of September to get back up to October in time for Halloween. 
So the only time we really experienced any of August 2020 it was like the first few days. Because then we were fast forwarding through uh, April, May, June, July. And then we kind of skipped August because it was coming up on October in real life. So we had to get cracking. And we skipped a lot of September as well. Because we were only staying on each day for like a couple minutes, however long it took to find our money tree, bury it, and then log into the ABD so we can keep those miles accruing. Just some very scenic spots on our island here with the lighthouse and our little stump. We got our viewing telescope, our phone booth. Boots thanking us for his birthday. We got some cool s clothes. Catching some puffer fish. Getting a KK concert. Finally got our aunt from the uh, spoiled turnip because Maps had bought his first turnip before we time traveled. And I said in the other video that we knew that time traveling forward would make the turnips spoil, but we didn't know that time traveling backward would also make them spoil. Any time traveling of any kind, even one minute in the same day, will spoil your turnips. But lesson learned the hard way at Maths' expense, unfortunately. empty our island was back then. It's just amazing. Like all this space here is filled up now. Where I'm standing now we have Samuel's house, who's another player. Catch an abandoned dragonfly. Over here we have Leota's house now. This is the lagoon now. Of course, back then there wasn't any kind of laguny feature to it. <laughs> Another banded dragonfly. This is now the Blue Bayou Pirate Restaurant from the Pirate to the Caribbean ride. Oops. Yeah, caught it. So you can see the start of our Blue Bayou Cafe right there, Blue Bayou Restaurant rather. Um, but. All that stuff that's up there now moved down to the left side cliff and back where all that stuff is in that picture you just saw is now actually all the gold pirate stuff. The captain's table in the blue bayou. Even though in the real blue bayou there is no captain's table but in our blue bayou there is. Requesting a KK song. We haven't done a KK concert in probably over a year, so we should probably get back on that because we can get nook, nook points and nook miles for that as well, plus some more music. Because with the 2.0 update in November of 2021, he did release a bunch of new songs too. So that's our August compilation. Hope you liked that and check out some of our other videos as well. But we'll see you next time. Bye bye.